Are you a real estate agent? Maybe you're one of the 50%, yes, 50% that did not make a deal in 2023. Or maybe you're one of those agents that is in 2024 that you have not made a deal yet. Ah, I feel for you. You must be in a lot of pain. You must be frustrated. You must be stressed when you put your head down at night. Listen, I've been selling real estate for 33 years. I've sold over 7,000 homes, and I know a thing or two about selling real estate. What is the most important thing that you, that you need to do each and every day? You know what it is. It's prospecting. Prospecting, prospecting, prospecting. But it's just not about prospecting, it's about then generating a lead. See, when I started in 1992, and I know that's a long time ago, but in 1992, my only, my only goal each and every week was to connect with one client and then connect with that client so much that they became lifelong clients. And this is what I want you to accomplish this week, next week, next month, the year after that, is just connecting with one client. But that means that you're prospecting for at least two hours a day, then generating enough leads so you now have a lead source that is full. And out of that full lead source, you're going to find at least one or two clients every week that you can put into your system to start closing deals. Now, it sounds really, really easy, and in some ways it is, but in many ways it's very, very difficult, especially when you're not producing leads today because you're kind of blocked. You're frustrated. Where do I go? How do I do this? What is the best lead? Those are all crazy questions going through your mind each and every day. Your mind is playing gymnastics, isn't it? It is like turning over. Who do I talk to? What do I say? When do I say? Who do I call? When do I make the calls? Those are all, all questions that you're probably having going through your mind each and every day while you're being frustrated not making deals. But let me make it really, really easy. You need to generate leads. And what are the best leads to produce sales in the next 30, 60, 90 days? Because that's really the important thing is, how do I get a commission into my bank account in the next 30, 60, 90 days. So there's many types of leads. We can go and cold call. We can do online leads. We can do networking. We can do all of these things, but I want to tell you what is the best lead of all. And it's best because of human behavior. See, when we meet people, they don't always want to trust us because they know that we are what? Sales people. And salespeople means that we must be pressuring, we must be pushing for them to make decisions, even when our intention is pure, even when our intention is the best for them. But that's just human behavior. So the best, best lead that we can ever get is a referral. So I want to share with you how to get a referral today and how that referral is going to turn into a commission in the next 30 days. So how do we do that? Well, and maybe I should back up. Why do we want a referral lead? Because referral goes against that human behavior because a referral is being referred by somebody else, which is third party validation. Third party validation is so, so important. That's where somebody else says, hey, you got to use Susie. You got to use John. You got to use Jim. You got to use Mike. They are awesome. And when that comes from a third party validation for Mike or Susie or Jim, well, there is that barrier of I don't trust this person to trust goes way, way down and trust goes way, way up because that barrier has come down. So this is the most important thing is the referral lead is where it's all going to change for you to get a deal in the next 30, 60, 90 days. So there's many places that you can get referrals, but most importantly, you're asking for others that trust you, that know you, that you've done business with already 
to help you. This is the key. I need your help. People love to help one another. So you have to ask for the business. You have to ask for the referral. You have to say, I'm really in need of some business. I'm really in need of a referral. And this goes to your past clients. This goes to your connections, your friendship, your family, whatever it may be, because we need their help right now. If you haven't done a deal, you need, to, you need help from everybody. But here's the challenge. You're in desperation mode. Somehow you have to turn down that desperation mode, turn down the heat on that, because desperation is the death of a referral. Be yourself. Be relaxed. But here's where I want you to really, really reach out to somebody to get a referral, and that's business to business owners. See, business owners get referral business better than anybody because they're in the business of getting referrals as well. And so what I want you to do is go through your Rolodex, go through your database, go through your phone list, and find people that have businesses. Anybody, a landscaping, a, bit, a landscaping business, a dry cleaning business, a trucking business, whatever business it is, or whatever business they're in, or even if they're in a management position, treat them like they're business owners, and reach out to them. Have a conversation, how can I help you in your business. Start with them. Start with them and say, how can I help you? And in turn, they'll say, well, that's great. How can you be served as well, Randy, Mike, Jim, whoever it is? So business to business is where the referral activity is really at the highest level. Serve them and they will serve you. We've talked about this in priceless, passionate prospecting where we go to business owners and ask how can we help them and then get some sort of a giveaway, a discount, something that we can give to either our database, our clients, or even if we're door knocking or at our open houses that we can then give to that person that walks to the front door of that open house or your database, whatever it may be. So again, here there's this law of reciprocity and that's really what referrals are all about. It's the law of reciprocity. You've served me, I want to serve you. I've helped you, I want to help you. So forth and so forth. This is really, really important. So this is how you're going to find a commission check in your bank account in the next 30, 60 days. Here's my challenge to you. And this is the action plan that you need to take today. Is go through your database. Go through your phone list. Go through your Rolodex, whatever you have, wherever you keep names. Go through your mind and start putting together a list of business owners or people that are in management positions in businesses and reach out to them today to say, how can I serve and help you? And even better yet, go and meet them for a coffee or a lunch and build that relationship to the point where you are serving them and in turn, they will serve you with referrals. But you also need to ask, listen, I need your help. I need your help. Let's not be that statistic of the 50% that has not made a deal in the last 12 months. Let's be the statistic that is making deals, that is being productive that is filling our bank account with commission checks each and every month, not just once in a while, but each and every month. And if you can do this and be in this lane of prospecting, I can guarantee that your income will increase by two or three times more if you hone this skill of business to business referrals. Take that action step that I've just shared with you Put the names together, the list together, and start making those contacts today. Let's not be a statistic of the 50% on the bad side, but let's be the 50% on the plus side. Reach out to me or DM me if you have any further questions on how to implement this in your own business. DM me if you think I can serve you and help you. This is the law of reciprocity. I want to help you. Reach out to me today. Let's go.